So, I wanted to show off my CI uh, kind of energy shield, machine gun, storm burster. Uh, super powerful, what super is it? fast. You know I am not to it's be good for senses this because you can just blitz through areas. And do not disturb me again. To get to your stabilizers. Especially once you get your charges built up. We're using seven power charges, five frenzies. Uh, as you can see, the clear is quite quick. We just map as we need. As long as we keep moving, um, we get through stuff quite quickly. Right. Good example of a breach here. The game's gonna help me out with this recording. Alright, let's do this. Like I said, pretty much just a big machine gun. Kinda of like think of it as like a Gatling gun and they just stand still and load the whole entire map. And I probably forgot to turn the game sounds down, so all you guys are hearing is everything exploding. I will fix that here in just a second. But you at least get to see how quick it can handle that. Let's get our sounds fixed. Here we go. Change that so we can hear our drops. Here we go. On average, I'm about 171 to 200 million experience an hour. So leveling has been super fast on this build. Um, pretty much the biggest slowdown is if you slow yourself down for loot. Um, once I get to 90, 95-ish, I'll probably really thin my loot filter down to almost nothing. Um, just so that I can blitz through the leveling a little faster. Uh, get through everything. This is a unidentified tier 10 map. I'm level 87. And let's go ahead and pop in and do the boss. Give you an idea what that looks like. They pretty much just melt, and I didn't even use my Val Storm Call or Orb of Storms, both of which really do a lot for your single target. Um, Storm Burst and Orb of Storms, in a way, kind of feels like cheating at times. Because you just do so much damage. But as you can see, for most things, don't even need it. Just find a pack, click through it. I mean, literally, you just drag your mouse button through the pack, then release, and done. And yes, I have Acceleration Shrine, but really, this is the same playstyle for the entire map. Um, we'll go through the potions and build details in a little bit. Just kind of want to give you some rough ideas of, like, the clear speed. And yes, I know, I'm a little extra fast because of the Shrine, but... It's really at 200 million EXP an hour. This is pretty much how it feels like to play it. Well, game's helping me out demoing all the map contents that you'll come across. Of course, it's unidentified, so <laughs> I don't even know what I'm getting hit with. Probably a whole lot of extra damage. So I'm being a little cautious because I don't know what I'm actually against. This build can... Well, I'm not going to say it does it. You can run a reflect map if you need to. Um, it's just really slow, because what you have to do is basically use your... Um, I'm blinking on their names. Stormbrand. So what you do, if you have a reflect map that you absolutely need to run for some stupid reason, 
you can use a slow Stormbrand kill like this, and you'll outleach the self-imposed damage. So it's possible it is just extremely painful. So I'd say stay away from uh, Reflect, Elemental Reflect. You can run Physical Reflect all day long because we're converting all of our damage um, to Elemental. So we have no worries on that piece when it comes to Physical. So Purely Elemental Reflect is about the only thing that gives us a lot of headaches. Because we're running two 50% auras and then a herald on top, we do kind of struggle with can't regenerate uh, because we don't have to. We can do it. We just have to drop our herald and run a mana potion, which isn't that bad of a scenario. All right, so let's go over the build a little bit. Going to go through the mechanics here. So, first up, let's look at gear. We're running a Shimmeron Tornado Wand. Um, the added lightning damage per second per power charge. We do have seven power charges, so that is 1,400 raw damage per second if we've dealt a critical strike recently. So, it lasts about two to four seconds or so on that drain. Uh, but we're leeching, and our leech keeps us, so it's draining... Our leech is going, and if we do over leech, meaning we leech to max and leech stops, then at that point the drain is pretty much done anyways, or we've drained, you know, it's, it's not a big deal. Um, and if you're going in between spots of packs, or between packs where you're not getting hit, then your energy shield regen is going to wipe off the Shimmeron. Probably could run to. It would feel really uncomfortable, um, but we'd have a insane amount of damage. Uh, everything else is just base ink gear. Um, nothing too fancy here. Um, I am running two minus mana cost because I want to keep my six link storm burst to three mana cost as my primary, which means my 92 unreserved mana is <laughs> plenty, uh, and I out leech it. So basically, I never drop. I can just sit here and leech all day long. It also helps with, you know, keeping Flame Dash, Stormbrand, and Orb of Storms down on its cost so I can keep them under and do my triple um, Herald of Thunder, Wrath, and Discipline. So speaking of Herald of Thunder, Herald of Thunder, I could switch this to Herald of Ice. I might switch it to Herald of Ice. Um, on the aspects that I would get Shatter because we're going to crit a ton and so we're going to end up freezing and I'd pick up Shatter versus um, the extra, you know, just lightning damage. Uh, we'll see how this plays. Like I said, I've used the lightning damage or Herald one because I like the gore effect on it, but two, um, it is adding lightning damage and everything we do is lightning damage. So it kind of boosts and we're doing infused channeling which means we're going to do more lightning damage as well. Uh, so, you know, we're going to be doing extra 10% um, more damage with it. So we get extra, but I think the shatter is probably worth it more. We're running Wrath um, for the, our ally, you know, basically doing 21% more lightning damage. And, of course, Discipline so we can get to our 54, 5500 um, energy shield. Uh, we've got Doriani's Delusions on, uh, mainly just because they're adding more lightning damage. It's a good, cheap energy shield boot. Um, we get 30% at movement speeds. Not required. They're just really cheap, relatively cheap, <laughs> um, for that much energy shield. I'll probably swap these out for a Shaper or Elder boot later on uh, when I get around to it. This is going to be really hard to find something that adds, you know, 69 lightning damage flat um, to everything I'm doing and carry 159 um, uh, energy shield. Um, just a standard energy shield belt, so crystal belt, gloves, energy shield. So I decided to go with energy shield uh, shields this time. 
uh, and I'll probably find something a little bit bigger. This was just kind of what I could afford at the time. Uh, this is a very budget build, meaning it's very scalable. Before I even got to the Shimmerons, I was using a uh, Moonsaro wand. Basically, that was my leveling wand from 59 to, was it, 68? So, and I had no problem running the same speed. Actually, technically, really, without the power charges, Moonsaro does just about as much damage as uh, Cimarron does. So, very budget gear um, all the way around. So, the next part of this build, which is one reason we take the shield, um, is we're going to take Rumi's Concoction because we want block uh, on our attack and spell damage. Then we're basically taking Azir's Flask because we're picking up the elementary, or elemental damage, plus we're getting the extra leech from the Chaos Conversion. Uh, then just basically a Sulfur for extra damage and anti-freeze. Um, bleeding Diamond Flask. And because I don't need much more utility, I'm kind of out of well, what utilities do I really need. I will probably find a Wise Oak to replace the, the Sulfur Flask. And then when I do that, I will end up putting something... I'll end up changing this to a... Um, freeze Quicksilver. I'll probably keep it as Quicksilver. And, um, but it'll lose the increased move speed. But for now, it feels really comfortable with this setup. So let's go look at, um, for our skill setups, I'm doing Storm Burst, concent uh, Concentrated Effect, because really, I mean, it's even concentrated, you're blasting, yeah, I could probably hit more of the screen. But you're dragging it, moving it, and hitting everything that you need anyways. I don't need any more coverage, so that's not a problem. Physical lightning support, this strips all of our physical out, so we're doing no, nothing that's not elemental at this point, um, which is really good for us. Um, don't have to worry about physical reflect. Uh, energy leech support, uh, we're getting... 38% more when our, we're leeching, or 24 when we're on uh, full energy shield. Just a ton of damage, plus we get our leech from it. Uh, infused channeling, as we talked, you get the more damage out of it, plus you get the extra lightning damage for everything you're doing, and you're taking less lightning, 8% uh, less lightning damage, and you're taking 8% less physical damage, so 16% potential damage. Um around there and in total there so um, for my storm brand I'm using it for uh, applying warlords mark arcane surge and course curse uh, curse on hit so the storm brand is really it's just my cursing mechanic we're using warlord uh, warlords for the extra leech uh, and You'll notice we actually kind of end up carrying three endurance charges around on us, which is just more damage reduction. Um, then we have added lightning, increased critical strikes, concentrated, and orb of storms. Like I say, when you plant orb of storms down, and, and this is going off, each one of those is causing it to, to zap through, plus you're going to throw a storm brand down on top. Orb is going off all the freaking time. So it's pretty much um, going out as fast as you can. Uh, then over here, just summon. And I carry a Righteous Fire, but I almost rarely use it. I Sometimes I'll just use it to help clear packs out. Or if I want to just really nuke a boss. Um, we're using Lightning Golem for the faster um, cast speed. The faster your cast speed is, the more orbs you can build up. So I've got nine. You'll see as I add fringy charges by charging or channeling. Hopefully there goes three. You'll see it kind of going to nine to ten. So your cast speed is deciding how many are out there along with some duration. So that's the reason why we're doing lightning golem. And of course discipline, herald of thunder, wrath, and then we're running an enlighten two. Once it gets to Enlighten 3, then we'll have plenty of space. I can probably drop the minus total uh, mana skills off one of these rings. 
um, then just Stormcall, Flame Dash, and Faster Casting, or Vile Stormcall. Uh, just a little free damage, don't really need it. I'll probably swap one of these setups for um, oh, a, a um, Immortal Call. It'll probably feel a lot better than uh, what I got going on here. Kind of swap some of this out. Drop the Righteous Fire, drop the Storm Call, because I'm not using them. Set this up as a Immortal Call, um, cast wind damage taken, uh, summon lightning kind of deals. So that's that part. Um, let's just charge up here and I'll kind of give you a general tooltip, in-game tooltip, and then we'll look at the actual Path of Exile, or Path of Building. So we went Trickster. It has so much utility. For example, we were running five Frenzy Charges, seven. Um, come on. takes a while sometimes. Seven Power Charges. And we end up with 170, and if we throw uh, Orb of Storms down, which, hold on. Oh, it's no longer trippy. I must have messed up my Arcane Surge. Uh, but anyways, 170,000 tooltip damage in-game. If we come over to Path of Building and look at it here, and that is not the correct one. Hold on. Am I on the wrong? Oh, I haven't put my um, Shimmerons in. So we're 692,000 and um, on the Stormburst, um, running this setup with the, the Lightning Pen infused and, and that setup. And like I said, this is some of the build that i have actually running a little bit better. This is kind of where I'm aiming with the Wise Oak. Um, we'll probably look at a Watcher's Eyes with Wrath. And all, I think once I get done with it, I will actually be able to push it over um, a million DPS on Stormburst, which actually feels really, really crazy. Um, let's talk about the tree here. Not to mention, we'll cap out around 7,000 ES and be leeching about 1,600 ES a second. For the Shadow Trickster, we took Swift Killer. We get the extra Frenzy and Power Charge. We also get um, Generation on Kill. We get the extra damage increase per Frenzy and Power Charge. Let's make sure both of those are on. Yep. Um, but we also gain while we're channeling. This makes our boss fights um, super easy. We keep our charges up the entire boss fight, even if we don't have to worry about adds. Then we went with Harness the Void, obviously for the potential to double our damage as, like, you know, not as non-KS. Huge boost there. We took this for our Uber, because you really don't need the damage until you get into red mapping. Um, we took Ghost Dance. So we start here, normal. This is uh, Cruel Mercy Uber. Um, Ghost Dance gives us 5% uh, just flat chance to evade when we have Energy Shield. 3% reduced damage per Ghost Shroud. So we're going to take 3% times 3, 9% reduced damage, plus all the other reduced damage we're getting from the Infused Channeling. Um, so, and we're going to pick up um, a little bit. We don't have a lot of evasion. Um, probably only two to three grand evasion, but we still pick up a little bit of energy shield when we get hit. Plus, we always have energy shield, so we're moving. We also get more cast and energy shield off the two incoming nodes. Escape Artist um, gives us a little bit more energy, That but what we're really, really here for is the cast speed per Ghost Shroud. Uh, and we can't be stunned if we have Ghost Shrouds. But the biggest reason is 20% to dodge spells if you have energy shield. So flat 20% dodge for spell hits, which is nice. Because if you look what we've done in the tree, and I don't even think it has a... Nope. 
what we've done in the tree is we've taken spell shield damage so we're picking up all these blocks so what we're getting is a large amount of block we also came over here and picked arcane guarding for the spell block so what we're doing is and all the extra energy shield i was going to do this originally using staffs uh and then like a disintegrator staff um but then i kind of got you know what i need the extra energy shield because i'm a little strapped early on in the game for energy shield so i wanted the extra and i think it's going to work out better i actually get more damage in the long run so i think that's the best option to go with basically you just come straight out go through the crit nodes get the power charges get the frenzy charges get the soul thief for the energy shield leech uh, and i mean then come over pick up your energy nodes here uh, grab the extra power charges you're kind of rushing the power charges around the tree is what i did and then kind of backtracked got my singular focus picked up my arcane potency uh, when i got to my auras pick these up so i'd have enough to run all three uh, grab these for my energy shield picked up the arcane guardian just kind of backfilling uh, dig rush light eater early on uh, for the leech um, but yeah, just kind of drove around to all the power charges and then started backfilling, um, this tree out. Um, picking up, you know, various things for that. So that's kind of the, the build in a nutshell. Um, one thing I wanted to show you is on our defenses, um, uh, cause it's a little easier to see realistically what it is in game. So a chance to block attack damage is 29%. Chance to block spell damage is 10%. Uh, and then stun avoidance 20% across because of our setup there. Uh, and then where is the chance to dodge? So we have a 20% chance because of our evasion. Um, and then 20% to dodge spells. So what we do though is this block chance here 29 and this is why we carry the roomies is 49 and 17 and really I probably should flip it roomies can do 10% on the block and 20 on the attack I either need to get I'll, I'll probably min max this and get a 20 10 but they're a little pricey um, but long story short when we have our roomies up um, we have pretty much 50% block chance and 17 18% chance to block spell damage so let's just say 50% chance to not be hit by um, an attack and 20% to not get hit by um, a spell because we're going to dodge it. And then if we fail the dodge, then we're going to roll a block chance and that block chance is going to potentially be 20% um, as well for spells. So really we get 40% chance to not take that hit. Um, which is, you know, huge because we're not getting hit a lot. And then when we do, we're having our soul shrouds come in and play into that uh, as well. So lots of speed, lots of single target damage um, across the board. Like I said, I think with, you know, some min-max gear here, some, flat, some more flat damage instead of... Um, some of these other things like these evasions and stuff. Once I get to min-maxing this into it, we'll easily hit a hundred uh, or a million DPS or Shaper DPS. Uh, and it'll feel really, really comfortable. The other thing that's not really getting accounted is all the Orb of Storms, Stormbrand, and all that other kind of damage that's going on as well. Um, I at one point thought about building out some Stormbrand uh, or Brand nodes because I can throw brands down on each side while running and just clear packs and then use Storm Burst for single target. Um, <clears throat> but then I'm like, nah, I'd rather keep Storm Burst maxed. Uh, so when I do get my chance to get my damage in, I get it in quick and easy without having to worry. So, um, that's pretty much it. I will post later on when I get all my uh, Shaper Elders guardians and all those kinds of stuff um like i said the characters just 87 and um 
but I've been blitzing through. I mean, it's you pretty much when you have, uh, and of course I'm killing it right now because I've been talking for a half hour without killing. But on average, I'm about 200 million um, DPS an hour. So you're blitzing through uh, levels in a hurry. So I'll quit repeating myself. Um, make sure to like and subscribe. I'm really trying to get the subscribers going there. Uh, more subscribers I get, more crazy things I'll do, like buying a ton of extra mystery boxes for unboxing and um, various different things. And if you want me to cover anything in more detail, leave a comment, and I'll be glad to, to post some additional stuff, and I'll be sure to post the um, path to building around it. Uh, probably redo it with my current build. Uh, same paths and everything. Nothing's different. I just wanted to have my current gear because it's a more accurate representation than what my theory crafting gear was. So, have a great day.